Hello again everyone, Dr. Dan Bachman here. Today, we're gonna to talk about workout soreness. That's what I call it. It's actually, there's a, a medical term for it. The, the, the soreness you have the next day or two after exercise. Let's say you do, went for a run and your legs are a little stiff and sore the next day. Delayed onset muscle soreness, or DOMS, is what we call it. Uh, it's a medical term for it. But, workout soreness is actually a good thing in moderation. Meaning, the amount of soreness you have after a workout is directly proportional to how hard you pushed in that workout. Either how much weight you lifted or how many reps and sets you did or how many hours you did that thing or how many miles you ran. So you're in charge of how sore you're gonna be uh, in the future days. The perfect amount. Workout soreness is caused by micro damage to the muscle that you just exercised. That sounds bad, but it's actually good because by overloading a muscle, meaning giving it a little more work than it's used to doing, running an extra mile than you've run before, it's more work than your legs used to doing. You're, it causes micro damage in the muscle, but your body adapts to that by building a bigger, stronger muscle that can then do more work, which is why exercise when done right makes us stronger as days and training sessions go by. And the stronger we are, the more capable we are, the, more, the easier everyday life gets, <laughs> and the better, we, the better able we are to protect ourselves in any situation if we're stronger. So the perfect amount, oh, that, that micro damage in the muscle heals and recovers and medium workout soreness, the next day or two is the perfect amount. Now, medium as opposed to none at all, which means I worked out yesterday, I don't really feel it, I can't tell that I did a workout today. I can get up from a chair, it doesn't feel like anything really happened. That's an example of I could have pushed harder in my workout and I'm not getting, I'm not pro gonna be progressing in my strength as quickly as I could. And as opposed to so sore that I can barely walk around for three or four or five days. That's an example of pushing too hard in the workout before. And that's actually bad for two reasons. One, you're, you're hurting unnecessarily. There's no additional benefit to hurting that much. Um, and, it's not, and it delays your next workout. So if you wanted to work out in two days, but you're so sore you can't, and you have to push it to five days later, you've just, you've just slowed your, your progress angle down so that you're delaying and you're hurting for no reason. So play around with your workouts. If you're just getting into a workout program, the key is to start super easy the first two times. You should feel silly going as lightly as you're gonna go the first two workouts of that kind. But what that does, it finds you a safe entry point into working out that doesn't hurt, that you can then add little intensity to in future workouts as your body adapts to that thing by getting stronger. So that prevents you from accidentally starting with way too much and not realizing it until it's too late and then you'd be miserable for five days and then you have to wait and start all over again. So workout soreness good, the perfect amount is medium. Medium is, oh, I can tell, you know, I can feel, yeah. It's not hobbling around and it's not no soreness at all. So shoot for medium workout soreness, that means you're building strength at a good safe rate all the way through. It does not matter what your exercise or your sport is, what body part we're talking about, that applies to all. So hopefully that's been helpful. If so, definitely subscribe below. If you have a question you'd like me to answer, leave that in the comment below and I will get back to you with a personal video answer. Thanks again, guys. See you guys next time inside.